Hi, I'm James. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install an Aqualisa Q exposed smart shower. Before installation, think about the location of the Q controller. If the ceiling height is over 2.4 meters, a riser rail extension kit will be required. Make sure there is adequate working clearance above the top of the rail in the roof space. Choose a suitable height so all the family can easily see and use the controller. The Q controller is activated by a proximity sensor on the front of the control. The sensor detects motion from 0.5 to 0.7 meters directly in front of the device. It is important that the device is positioned so that it will detect the user approaching and moving away from the shower. Using a spirit level, attach the template to the wall in the desired position. Using the template, drill a hole in the ceiling, 30 to 40 millimeters in diameter. Again, using the template, drill the wall fixing points using a suitable six mil drill bit and fit the supplied wall plugs. Remove the template from the wall and feed the data cable followed by the rail assembly containing the supply pipe through the hole in the ceiling. Fix the rail to the wall using the screws provided. Slide the rail bracket covers into place. Position the Q controller into the wall plate with the power symbol at the 7 o'clock position. Gently apply pressure to the screen with one hand. Use the other hand to rotate the controller counterclockwise using the Q lever until it stops and is securely seated on the wall plate. Flush water through the outlet before connecting hose or heads. To attach the handset to the hose, disengage the pivot clip from the bottom of the handset by pressing the tab and pulling the pivot hose connector clear. Ensure the hose washer is in the correct position and screw the pivot hose connector into the hose. Only do this hand tight. Reinsert the pivot hose connector into the handset and push the tab to lock into position. Attach the hose and handset. 